Hi guys, Hello. welcome to Toronto. Thank you. Congratulations on the film. I'm sure it's going to be a big hit. Um, so I related to it. I feel like everyone related to it for different reasons. I related to it being an elder sibling. I thought that's my brother. And also it feels like very much kind of like a workplace comedy because I've been in workplaces where I've had boss babies. I think we all have. What did you relate yeah, to most uh, with the material? Well, I relate to the material as a mother. I have three kids. They all want to be called Boss Baby, so I have to all call them Boss Baby. But my, more importantly, my 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 eldest was seven when my second son arrived, and he was really jealous, just like Tim Templeton. So I just related to this story about these two brothers coming together to get rid of each other, but only to fall in love with one another. And it's just like was such an emotional, relatable story for me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and uh, um, I was the nemesis of you. You be the only child. I was oh. the boss baby to my brother. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, and it, it, it's interesting. Like so many kids, we, we found out, and so many YouTube clips too of kids being told they're having a baby brother or sister, and they have complete meltdowns, and they, oh, yeah. oh I'll think, oh, the, yeah. the baby's gonna get all the love. There'll be none left for me. And, yeah, yeah. My and, um, yeah. But it, it's interesting as families, and most families have a sibling rivalry. You know, mm -hmm. there is a competition, or they annoy you, or they get in your way, or you know, they tag around with you. And I was annoying to my brother and after we you know now 50 years later we're both adults and we love each other so much and it's my 50-year apology letter to my brother and um and that was my connection i'm the brother you're the mother and um and you're tim templeton yeah what did your brother think of it he loved it he saw yeah. it. we just had a premiere and and that the great reward for me not only working with all the artists we got to work with was watching it with my brother and i just watched him when watching it <laughs> you know so it was fun so I read that you two have known each other for 20 years, 20 plus oh, yeah. years. Yeah. What did you love most about working with each other? Everything. <laughs> I think we're a great creative complement to each other. And what, you know, a, a, a director is, is only as good as his producer. And because on this pro project in particular, and by the way, we've always wanted to work together and, uh, and finally had this opportunity on this movie where, you know, Ramsey has a great perspective as a parent, and I come at it from the sibling rivalry. Mm -hmm. But um, Ramsey's a rare breed of producer because she's also an artist and, uh, and, and loves art. And, and, and when you're having to wrangle 400, 500 artists, mm -hmm. you need someone who yeah. understands artists, you know? And um, so I hail my producer. You know, and we, we, when we met 20 years ago, he was working on Ren and Stimpy, I was working at Nickelodeon, Tom has gone on to, you know, direct some of my favorite films uh, um, in, ever made in, in animation. So, so um, you know, I respect him immensely as a storyteller, as, as, a, as a creator. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, I, and it was just a great experience. It was a wonderful experience. Yeah. In a way, it's, it's um, it, yeah, it's a true partnership. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what were some of your favorite films growing up? Both of you, what were some of your favorite films? Because it kind of harkens back to, uh, to animated films from a while ago. Well, I'm an old dude, and um, and uh, you know I, when I was a kid, I, they'd re-release the Disney movies like Peter Pan and Lady and the Tramp and that sort of thing, and I just loved it, and because uh, it felt like you were just transported into these really imaginative <coughs> worlds, and it was very enchanted and magical, you know, and that's why I pursued animation as a career. And this is years before computers, and and uh, and and so those would kind of. You know, things you uh, have passion for as a kid, it's amazing how they lead you into adult life, you know. Yeah. Night of the Living Dead? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. Yeah, it is true. <laughs> I love zombie movies. Yeah. But um, Fantasia, in terms yeah. of an animated film, I just, uh, was, that's one of my favorite animated films, maybe the first animated movie I've ever, I ever saw. And I just love that it was, um, you know, as Tom you know, has described it, you know, I was transported into a world of art. Mm -hmm. And it was a moving illustration of the of the world around me. And it was led by music. And, mm -hmm. you know, it was just beautiful. It, it's all, also interesting. I think the first movie I ever saw was It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, mm -hmm. which was a huge epic comedy. And then Pink Panther and all the Blake Edwards movies. Oh, yeah. and, and they were animated movies, even though they were shot in live action, you know, um, um, they were really fun, and, and so I think I was introduced to comedy very early. Mm. And speaking of music, the song Blackbird plays a very integral role to uh, the movie. How did you end up choosing that song in particular? 
Well, it was our writer, Michael McCullers, who wrote Austin Powers movies. Um, he's a father of four, and he'd sing it to his kids. He and his wife would sing it to their, their kids. And we thought, like, well, let's, let's use it. Who knows if we'll ever get the rights to it. But more and more people go, I sing that to my kids. Ramsey. I did. My mother yeah. sang it to me. I sang it to my kids. I mean, so many people on the crew, I mean, they mm -hmm. were, you know, they related to this this experience. So, so. we folded it into a story point, yeah. you know, of um, and, uh, and then we, you know, we went to the estate and asked permission and mm -hmm. kind of told him the story and mm -hmm. wrote him a letter and they were very, very gracious to let us use it. Yeah, we were very lucky and very happy that mm -hmm. we, we actually at one point thought, talked about, you know, writing something original, but it was Blackbird was just too hard to beat, so. And you got the rights. Yeah, we got yeah. the rights, so. Which is amazing. Yeah. So as a film buff, I loved the many, many film references in the movie. You have Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, you've got Moby Dick, you've got Gandalf, there's so many. What other ones should people look out for? Um, well, you know, in a way, it's an homage to a, a it's kind of a period movie. We, we, we pulled from our own childhood to the 60s, 70s, and 80s and stuff like that. And there is a beat that's very similar to Raiders of the Lost Ark when they have to get this file on this new puppy right. that's supposed to put babies out of business. Right. And, and sometimes there's a, a wink to the camera. And um, But we really kind of focus on, you know, is it the kid's memory? Is it the unreliable narrator? And um, there is a moment at the beginning of the film to look out for um, where you see the, the entire movie unfold on a camera move with his toys are set up in the movie. And if you, I don't know if you've seen it yet, but look out, like there's a, an opening camera move that kind of um, makes you wonder if it's the kid's imagination or, or was it? Okay, now I'll have to okay. watch it again. <laughs> I saw it last week and now I think I'm gonna go see it tonight again yeah. just to look out for that. And Tom, you obviously voiced a character in the film. You voiced the penguin in Madagascar. If you could voice any animated character, who would it be? Um, I, I love my role in, in Boss Baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a TV chef, yeah. much like Julia Child. But I noticed you have a really interesting voice. And we're connoisseurs of voices, by the way. Okay. You've got this great kind of husky kind of quality to it. I'm just going you like, always think I'm sick. All no, time. it's no, a I great... talk like this. No, but it's really interesting. <laughs> and it's like, like wow, yeah. you, could be, you could be in animation because yeah. that's what we look for. It's yeah. just like, like okay. looking for yeah. interesting voices okay, and stuff. sign me up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you working on next? Yeah, Boss Baby 3. Well, we're okay. going to skip two yeah. and we're going to go right to three. <laughs> three and a half. And you're hired.